Hello and welcome everyone to HD Racing. For my first race on this channel, I'm gonna be at Imola in the McLaren GT3, the new Evo. And this is an LFM race, if you're wondering. And yeah, we're just gonna go and see how it goes. So, almost at the starting line. So, let's try to keep it tidy and not cause any incidents. We are off. Hold your line. Clear left. Left side. Oh Hold your boy. line. Clear left. Nice. Already pandemonium. Car left. Clear left. What is going on here? Oh boy. What a start. Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. Car right. That was Clear a little right. bit optimistic. Nice one, D. Good start. Ooh. All right. And we are well, still alive, which is the most important thing. And I don't think we caused any incidents and. I don't think I even hit anyone, even though it was very close in the beginning. But still gotta be careful. Ah, this chicane. Oh, it's very difficult for me. Now, this was an off track. That is something I wanna avoid. Especially in LFM, even if I'm not getting any warnings here. It's always incident points. On your left. Oh boy. Still there. Clear left. On your left. Clear left. Well, better to let them through. This was definitely a mistake on break from my part. In the second to last corner. But so being safe is okay, the most important. Um, sure if you're wondering why, I am doing an LFN race, as I said. And I'm still in the Rookie Series, which you can probably also tell by my driving. And I really need to focus up more here. So, for me, right now, the most important thing is to be safe. So I don't lose safety rating, preferably gain safety rating. So yeah, a um, little bit about me. I am basically a new sim racer. I did a little bit of sim racing in 2020, but had to stop uh, due to some wrist problems. was really not helpful racing on a force feedback wheel. Um, but it's uh, way, way better now, and I really wanted to get back into the hobby. Oh boy. Right side, clear right. I really need to break earlier here. I don't know if it's fuel or. I'm no, not quite sure. This guy right. is attacking me. So. Hold your line. Clear, on the right. clear right. Okay. Still very much on my tail. Left so. side. Yeah, but I've gotten back into the hobby and uh, just been racing a couple of weeks. Started with LFM at some point. Okay. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Left side. This guy also Hold coming in is like really not very cool. Clear left. Um, I think maybe instead of talking about who I am, I should focus on racing. Nah, a little bit. But still, yeah, I'm fairly new, I would say. 
So maybe for a comparison, um, I my best time on this track in the McLaren is a high 141. You got cold front tires. No contact. Okay, D. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Left side. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Still there. Clear left. So 141.8 or something. Minutes. That's something I can not reproduce in a race. And even in quali, I was not able to get close to that. I think I qualified in P11, was it? I mean, you can probably... You could probably see in the start. I actually don't remember. I think I started in P11, which I am back at now. Which would be fine. Um, and I did a 142.3 or 0.4, something like that. The gap behind has increased to 1.0 seconds. But yeah, this is it. I am still very much new and learning. And on these LFM races, the most important thing for me is to be safe. So, not cause any incidents, preferably not be involved in any if I can avoid it. Even if that means losing pace, because that's not important for me right now. I have done about 10, 11 races on LFM, I think. I briefly went out of rookies, but I had two very unfortunate races, races where I lost a lot of safety rating, so I'm actually back in rookies, which I don't mind at all. I think I still am a rookie. And also, Umala is not a track that I know very well. Oh, Porsche behind. Took the chicane a little bit too fast and spun, which is good for me. The answer, Liam ahead is now 2.1. Yeah, I definitely am better at some other tracks, but not amazing. On any, I don't think. Nah, I'm pretty sure I'm not. As I said, I'm still very new at this. But I decided to well, try to record what I'm doing. Because it might be fun to watch and interesting. And maybe uh, some of you are in a similar position. And we'll get something out of these uh, videos where I'm just doing races. Probably also do, gonna do some other stuff. I'm not quite sure yet. Just gonna try it out. Well, basically just gonna have fun. Fun racing and fun making videos. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, for these uh, race videos I decided to put a little bit of effort into making something enjoyable to watch for you, so... I've included some additional information on the screen. Um, so my uh, monitor, which I'm using for sim racing, is a 21 by 9. Um, this is why I was able to just crop up the image a little. And provide more information on top. Um, well, I've got the cameras on the right. Um, my main camera is actually just my old phone. Um, I think it works quite nicely. Quality isn't that bad. Nope, that was too wide. Not great. Um, so yeah, quality of the main camera I think is, is decent. <laughs> my Fastest way of four, fixing three, it to the monitor is, um, well, quite scrappy. Uh, I might show you at some point, but not quite now. Um, yeah, but it works for now. Oh, definitely too late on brakes there. Oh boy, we need to be a little more careful. It's actually harder than I thought to race and talk at the same time. But then again, I welcome the challenge. Still want to try to keep the Porsche behind. Um, 
So the other camera for my pedals, that's just a very, very old webcam. The quality is not very good. And also the angle I'm not very happy with, but it was the best I could do with uh, what I had at the moment. Um, I don't know if it's providing anything useful. Oh boy, oh boy, keep the brakes on, please. Come on, Dave. Nicely done. This guy almost rolled back onto track, and the Porsche left. really was like, I don't fucking care, that's a someone there. Fuel looks good. Ooh, okay, um, so yeah, pedal camera, I don't know if it uh, brings anything interesting, if it's even helpful. You can definitely let me know. But I thought I might as well include it and can always remove it if it doesn't bring anything useful. Um, I'll switch to behind. Porsche probably made a mistake and now the McLaren is behind. Uh, also a car in front hit it. So yeah, we're up to P9. That's great. Let's try to keep it that way. Oh. Ahead is increasing. The it's other information I provided on top is, well, on the left, it's just my stats on LFM, so you can see I'm in Rookie, uh, my safety rating, and I don't know, it's also showing my ELO there, if I even have that already. Um, I don't know. But it's right now something that's obviously not impressive and also not very important, but I thought I might as well include it, might be interesting later down the line. Um, the other things, uh, these widgets on top, are all from Armamentario, which is an awesome overlay product that well, gives me and also you, the viewer, some additional information um, that's not shown by the in-game um, UI. So that's from left to right damage, which is always like really annoying to get to if you just want to check how much damage you have. Um, so you can see at a glance how much seconds damage and also where that damage is. Um, to the right of that is the session information, so track status, weather, time of day, temperature, all that stuff. Uh, quite nice to know. Um, those two widgets I'm also showing for myself in different positions that you can see. It's basically off the screen for you. Um, and the widget that I'm not showing for myself, but that I uh, enabled for you guys, is the inputs. And I think that's a really cool thing. I mean, you can see um, inputs in game as well, bottom right. But I think that's not as helpful as something like the widget on top. Because the widget on top shows um, these graphs as well, and I find that really cool. Um, on one hand, <laughs> on the other hand, you can also see how bad I am at trail braking and picking up throttle carefully. Um, so, don't read too much into that. I'm um, definitely not the best sim racer out there. Right, You've used half your fuel. But I think it's helpful. Maybe also for me later to analyze. Oh, that might have been a little bit too fast. And the guy behind me is gonna gain. He might attack at some point. Car left. Clear left. Yeah. It's a lot better of it. Okay. So yeah, so much for what you see on screen. Maybe I've forgotten something, I'm not quite sure. Don't be pressured. Keep your exit speeds up. Your lap time is 144.05. Also, doesn't matter all that much. Now let's just focus on racing. Which is probably something I should have done from the beginning, but I don't know, I wanted to give you some 
background and some some info on me and on what's going on on screen. But I think this is for my first video really helpful and interesting for you to know. But as I said, now let's focus on race. So we are P9 and as I said, I think I started on P11. Um, from what I can remember, I don't think, apart from some off tracks, I collected five incident points, left. which is for me the most important thing. Just clean racing, safe racing. Um, so, so far so good. Let's try and keep it that way. And as you can see, I'm really struggling in the chicane. So it's definitely too slow this time, but I wanted to be careful. The gap to Liam behind is now 0 0.48. Also, this corner, I think I'm breaking a little late. So the guys in front are definitely too far away for me to be able to catch them. They are definitely faster than me. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. A, since I'm talking, and B, since I'm not that great in general, and especially on Imola, in sector two. Sector uh, my two race yellow. pace is not that great. We can see oh, Sousa what? has spun off. Green flag, sector two. So someone spun in front. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Green flag, you're clear. Okay, D. You've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. So yeah, it's, I'm not that great and also talking really doesn't help. As I said, I just want to have fun and be safe. I don't need to be amazingly fast. That will come later. I'm fairly certain. What I want to do is try and keep this McLaren behind me, but he's very close. So I need to be careful. And that was a cut on the chicane. It's a little Thank bit too aggressive on the exit curve there. And again, too late on brakes. So yeah, that was definitely a track warning that I earned. Um, but we only got 2 minutes 30 left. That should be two more laps. Let's try to keep it nice and tidy. No unnecessary mistakes. That will hopefully be enough to keep the McLaren behind me. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Oh, it's a little bit too aggressive on breaking there. Slowed down a little bit too much. And this guy is really keeping up. Just gotta focus. Okay. That's also an off track there again. That's my second warning. That's not great. That was one mistake too much. So we'll get him back. McLaren was able to pass me. The next car is Liam. But even if I finish P9, really doesn't matter. Just wanna try and be safe with these guys, because the Porsche behind is also closing.
On your left. Of course he's attacking like that, which is interesting. I think I left him more than enough space there. I don't know why he... Oh, I ran into that. That was really unnecessary. I don't know where this barrel is going. And now a Mercedes is coming in. Oh boy, it's gonna be a spicy last lap. Yeah, these track cuts and this little incident that we just had is you know, a little unfortunate. Because that will definitely eat into the safety rating that I gain, which I hopefully still will gain. We'll have to wait and see. Again, a little bit wide now. But he's still on track. Yeah, seems like. Mercedes behind. It's closing in, but I still need to take the chicane very carefully. I'm not gonna catch the McLaren. And if I can keep the Mercedes behind, that's it. Good delivery from here. Again, two late on brakes. Shouldn't have said anything. That was unfortunate. Track limits again, and also let the Mercedes through. P10, that's oh. the end of the race. We'll get him next time. Someone parking right up the finish line. That was dangerous. Oh well. P10, in the end, is not too bad. Like, really? if you can see from my car number, that's from the like preliminary ELO rating that I have on LFM, I should be 20th roundabout, but I don't think in rookies it's very accurate. But yeah, P10 uh, overall, very nice. And yeah, I think this is uh, it for, for this race. Uh, and so this is it for the first video. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me some feedback if you have any on well, basically the whole setup here on what is shown on, shown on screen and uh, well, the quality of the video uh, and stuff like that. I hope it's decent and I hope you enjoy it. And if you made it this far, please leave me a comment and uh, let me know. And I want to thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next one.